Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Music with Miss Innocent. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn this toilet paper roll into a super awesome shaker. Stay tuned. So for this project, you will need a toilet paper roll, construction paper, strong tape, some scissors, and a pen, and something to fill up your tube. Today I'm using black lentils because they are small and I had them in my pantry, but you can use a variety of different things. You can use dried beans, you could use dried rice, you could use rocks that you find outside. The goal is to try and find something that is small enough to fill your tube about a fourth of the way. If you want to get fancy with your shaker and decorate it at the end, I also recommend things like markers and maybe even a paintbrush and some paint. Don't forget to ask your parents permission before starting this project. There is cutting and painting and tracing and some of these skills you might need help with. Parents, try making a shaker along with your child. On April 22nd, it's actually Earth Day. So this is a great example of a way that we can take a material that we already have and reuse it. If you don't plan on using this toilet paper roll to make a shaker, then go ahead and put it in the recycle bin. To get started, you will need your construction paper and a pen. Take your toilet paper tube and place it onto your construction paper and with your pen, trace out circles. You will need two of these, one for each end, like so. When cutting out your circle, I recommend that you cut slightly outside of your traced line. Then, once you have cut out your circle, you are going to tape that circle to the end of your tube. Make sure you only tape up one side. You need to make sure you fill it up before taping the second side. When you have taped up your side, it should look something like this. Remember that this tape is what is keeping your shaker strong and keeping everything that's on the inside on the inside. The more tape you use, the stronger it'll be. So what I did is I taped across, and then I also taped along the sides to reinforce the tape. Once you have taped up one side, add your filling. I recommend only filling it at a maximum about halfway. You want there to be space in your tube in order for the sound to resonate through the tube. So I would fill it up about a quarter to a halfway full. Once you have filled up your tube, you can tape the other side and your shaker is ready to go. If you want, you can leave your shaker just as is because it's fully functional right now. But if you want to get creative with your tube, you can add decorations and stickers and glitter. For my shaker, I added paint and a little bit of glitter to add a little bit more decoration. Remember not to put too much paint on your toilet paper tube. Because it is cardboard and made out of paper, if you put too much wet paint, it can cause the cardboard to deteriorate. So just be mindful of how much paint you're using and paint in layers. So once you are completed with your shaker, you should be able to shake it on up and it should sound pretty nice. Depending on your filling, your shakers will sound different. The size of your filling will create different sounds. So just keep that in mind that your shaker might not sound exactly like my shaker. I hope you have a really excellent time making this project. Remember that it does require a little bit extra of your time, especially if you want to make it nice. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember to subscribe if you want more content, and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.